I know. This is amazing. Well, it's okay. But we will start. You can do this don't you? Yeah. This, this is. <laughs> this, this part of this part of the work. Oh, we didn't get to hundred. Oh, okay. So my name is Abeniza. Um She rightly said that I'll be a speaker for the day. It's amazing that we are speaking on effective leadership. Mm -hmm. And one key thing on effective, effective leadership is leading by example. And unfortunately, <clears throat> those that are supposed to be here to listen are not here. But I'm sure those who are also here who are also supposed to listen will be here to listen. I will not recap much. Ah. Will recap much. <laughs> okay. So, I, 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 I'm not too good with names when it comes to you, so I have a way of getting to know people by their names. And the easiest way is that when you give me your name, then you give me an adjective that describes you as starts with the first letter of your name. That's interesting, isn't it? So my name is Ebenezer. I'm an exceptional event. So that even if you forget the event, you will not forget the exception. So I'm sure everybody's beginning to find it's simple, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'll start from I don't like conventional stuff. So I'll start from you. Okay. I'm Johannes. Joyous Johannes. Joyous Johannes. Joyous Johannes. That's nice. Yes. Hey, you are thinking of it, Deborah. <laughs> yes. You're also thinking of yours. Hey. We are also thinking. Hey. You see, you had your. So, so ask for it. Okay. All right. Affable, Ifwa. Joyous, Johannes. Are you ready? You are still not ready? Oh! Yeah, are you ready? Okay, I think you're ready. Responsible Regina. Responsible Regina. Don't use the most simple, it is what you actually have. <laughs> Responsible Regina. Locked. Okay. Not bendable. <laughs> Not bendable. Not bendable. I'm trying to understand what that word means. Bendable. Not bendable. That's it. That's your own word. Okay, so so we have two cars. Did you all come in the same car? <laughs> so, give us a, give us one that we can find the best. All right, so I'm going to find it very easy to put on my my jacket and have a good time. Okay, then I can more or less to discuss something. Good. I'm still expecting a few people, right? Okay, I'll go. Simple. Alright. Nice Ninach. Nice. That's simple. Yes, Deborah. Darling Deborah. You're a darling. Darling Deborah. Alright, so those who came in late. And actually owe me 50 guys in this extra for coming in. There is an exercise that we are doing. And the exercise is pretty simple. We want to know your name, but we also want to be able to avoid a situation where we meet you in time, we've forgotten the name, and we have to do the usual kind of thing. Hey, yes, yes. Uh -huh. we don't want to be doing those kind of things. So there's always something that we 
gets called an adjective that describes you, but it starts with the first letter of the first name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds interesting. So, Johannes says that he's a joyous Johannes. Nanifa says that she is a well. Affable if what? Then <laughs> you can't find it here. Pray not to say beautiful men. <laughs> she's a poor, so she's an affable. Then, uh, is that is that another your first name? Yeah, you're four. So Nana is your first name, so you can't give us the. <laughs> so give us one. So we are going to start again. So that when we are done, there's an activity. So there's no need to go on Google now. <laughs> I see people with their, eyes, with their phones trying to find words. So there's no need to go on Google. We will do without the Google right now. Alright, so <clears throat> we'll start for you again. Okay. Um Johannes. Joyous Johannes. Joyous Johannes. Deborah. Darling Deborah. Darling Deborah. See ya. Jose. Jose. Is that your first name? Yes. yes. Hey. <laughs> oh, there's a first name. <laughs> okay. Optimistic or say solid. Yes, madam. What is going on here? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hello. Okay. No nonsense. Not next one. That's serious. Alright. Okay. <laughs> yes. Respect for Regina. She's become less responsible. <laughs> yes, boys. Okay. Um, fabulous Fifi. Fabulous Fifi. Fifi. Fabulous Fifi. That sounds interesting. Okay. So. Yes. Aggressive and aggressive and amazing. Let's take a second look at you. <laughs> yes. Are you feeling kind of dictionary? Maestro Mata. Maestro. Hey. Solid. Boss. Keep. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused with your phone. Uh -huh. no, I just came in, so I don't know what's going on. My name is John. Uh -huh. So give us an adjective that starts with J that describes you. Wait. You have to Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm giving you time so yeah, you can no, give me yours. Um, I'm Benny. So beneficent Benny. Benny. Yeah, beneficent Benny. Ben. Yeah, ben. Oh, Benny for certain. Yes, my dear. Justina. Oh, yes, my dear. Yes. Give it to me. John, I'm sure by now you should have yours. Oh, later. We'll give it to you. Later. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. The essence of this kind of activity I said earlier is to help you to know yourselves. And I was listening to a call speak at the African Dialogue, and one thing that I do not take for granted is network. Network is everything in today's business world. So if I close my eyes, I should know that there's a joyous Johannes, there's a beneficent Benny, I should know there's optimistic Jose. I should know that there's a no nonsense that need to I should know there's a respectable and respected uh, Regina, right? Then I know that there is Fifi, alright? Then I know there's an aggressive young man called Andy. I know there's a maestro. 
So automatically I've mentioned everybody's name. So when I meet you, and I don't remember their name, you see that I don't remember, if I don't get a name, I get the adjective. Look at that maestro of a girl boy. Then you turn, you know that's you I'm talking to. And that's what has helped me over the years since I started learning and developing organization and development. Because I come across a lot of people. Alright, sometimes I I can't even count in a year. But what helps me is that when I meet a person, I remember, oh, there was something we joked with. And I said, oh, yes, you're adjective. So it's exciting, All right? Also, the other thing is that it breaks the ground for adult learning. Adult learning is not the usual classroom session where we come here and do, yes, what is this? Tell me this. If you can't tell me, no, no, no. It's everybody coming from a different perspective of life. And we get to share. The essence of these sessions is cross fertilization. You know something, I know something. We share. Are we good? Yes. Awesome. So we we'll address your lateness. <laughs> Sorry. It's amazing. Why were you late? Why were you late? Maybe if you tell me some, I can help. John, why are you late? You got lost. Yeah, like okay. Five, yes. I had a meeting that drive. So. You had a meeting that drive. Yeah. Okay. Why are you really late? Aggressive. Yes. <laughs> you made them late. He was oh. aggressive with his lunch. He didn't have it at lunch. Like he had it when we were about to move. Oh, okay. I see. So the various examples that you just gave. Assuming I was working for you and I gave you this example, how would you feel? Just want to. I'm sparking a conversation. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can I use this? Yes, please. So how do you feel if I came to work late one morning and I said, oh, you know, my wife didn't start giving me breakfast early. If somebody needs to help me with this. Yes. <laughs> okay, I got it. Then I said, oh, I'm sorry. Today I'm late. My wife didn't give me my breakfast early. <laughs> You can take your breakfast. Can take this hey, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you, as well. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, I told you that. Oh, my son. He hasn't finished. Like you said, he is now having a lunch. He didn't wake up early. Oh, oh, what would be your response? How do you feel? I will just not take it. You will not take it. Not at all. <laughs> so much of that. Like. like you got lost. Yeah, you so I assume you got to work. I got to work later and said, Oh, did I use a different route? So I got lost. You have a CEO. I'm having some good in conversation. What will you say? You pardon me for the first time. Okay. So when it happened the second time? Obviously, you can't get it the second time. Hey, you can get lost. <laughs> there are some people who are not too good with directions, so they can get lost. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm sure they all want to know you, including myself. <laughs> and then you give us an adjective. An adjective. That describes you. Starts with the first letter of your first name. Wow. Okay. Um, my name is um, Liz Kwesiyama. I'm an educationist and an education consultant, and I'm on to story teacher trainer. I have a preschool and a primary okay. called Little Treasures Montessori. Awesome. The children aged one to ten mm -hmm. and we embrace special needs children. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So the adjective that describes you. Okay. It is a, um, I'm known for excellence. I, I, I don't um, compromise. Excellence is good. Yeah. I can tell you are excellent because I asked you one question, you gave me four answers. Because yeah. <laughs> that was the second thing I was going to do. Alright, so I want to know what you do. What you do for a living? So, what are you going to do? What kind of work are you doing? This is an opportunity to sell yourself. You never know. You might have something to offer. So, right from Ben. Yeah. Is that I stole this? Right from me. Yeah. No, you, you. What do you do? Work, right? 
terms of like, okay, so um, I'm a business development consultant, plan and uh, stroke and um, investment analyst. My oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Towards so what, how our structure, like business practice are in that. Oh, okay, so a business consultant. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you have your own company. Um, yes, I'm yes to start that, but um, at the moment I was doing it for a micro trainer and now they're in the chapter with that. Okay. Oh, okay. So now you are into investment? Yeah, analysis. I'm a stockbroker. I know you. Oh, yeah, stockbroker. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so what company do you work with? No, I, I never used it. You've never used it? Yeah. Oh. I never did. Oh, okay. But I realized it didn't really have the structures that would drive that. Yeah. So you know, I'm right now. That's exciting. That's exciting. Yes, madam. Those who are later are the ones taking the top is one. <laughs> yes. Um, I take up loans to people for living. And um, I make sure I sell for living. What do you sell? Um, I sell mobile applications for the content. Mm. So basically, I use them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So both of us. Oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. How's it going? It's a big market. Sure, yeah, you have to keep on Well, um, yes. No, that's like <laughs> 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 yes, what's that? Alright, so we're in the same company. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Bulk SMS. Oh, okay, I see. Yes, John. The same company. The same company. Mm -hmm. Bulk SMS. All of you. <laughs> Bulk. What's the name of the company? Nano Solutions. What? Nano Solutions. Nano Solutions. Nano Solutions. Yes. Oh, okay. But we don't talk sales. We do different stuff. That's I, I that's most important. You're also from the same company. No, no, no. Okay. You are from Tano Hub, yes. Okay. So you want to know what the natural does, right? Okay. Okay. I am a lawyer, so I do legal advice. Oh, okay. Citizens advice, you know, as human rights and stuff, because I realize that the country, lots of people don't know that, right? Okay. So when there's no before you go, especially to a lawyer or anything like that, and I also am hosting a, a show called I Don't Get It. I don't get it, do you? So that's the other show that I'm hosting. Okay, so yeah, just touching on issues. You know, the show you host is called I Don't Get It, do you? I don't get it. I don't get it, do you? Well, is it on TV or? It's definitely on YouTube. It's on wow. Facebook, yeah. So what is it going to be about? Well, the first one was about hopping on seats in the back. <laughs> I don't get it, do you? <laughs> that, that's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. That is, will actually be an interesting one. And the second one I've just done is not the ECG do you want to get it? I don't get it, do you? You don't want to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> all right. I think now we all relax. We can have a good conversation. The topic for discussion is effective leadership. How to do more with less money. Effective leadership. How to do more with less money. If you ever sat down and heard somebody asking another person, how do you do more with less money? What would be the first thing that you Okay. How will you do more with less people? Leverage. Leveraging on um, other areas where you know um, the reason why you're dealing with less people is because you probably like that that one kind of No, no, no. In, in in my session there is no right or wrong answer. Mm -hmm. It is your answer. Own it with confidence. Yes. This was like um I always preach about overhead costs and those mm -hmm. good things. So, like, doing more with less people has to be leveraging on the other existing factors that have to do with your business. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Leveraging on other existing structures within the business to be able to do more with less people. Why should we? want to say something. Okay. Um, I'll look at it. Um, I have a um, having a share of that. And then the power, the few people I have to take up the show to let one person come or we double up 
So in, in, in the nursery, you're talking about cross training? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes, Fifi. Okay, um, I think I'll give you a point of view of them, so that they be able to appreciate more like a participatory communication approach. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. And then maybe the other one who is a technology company, maybe you can deploy it first. Some technology that can enhance what people are doing. Okay. Yeah, let's bet. Um, people have transferable skills. Yes. Um, and double up. So you don't ask them to do something so that it's not my job. Oh, okay. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Get in the own shares, mm -hmm. the best people. It's the best shares in the company, and then they all work hard. I'm going to do more with less because my technology is not helping, so I'm going to do more with less. Mm -hmm. So, Les, I'm going to look at this topic in three ways. So, to do more with less people, I will look at leadership first. I will talk about what I call leading self. Then I'll talk about leading others. Then I'll come and talk about leading the business. This should be done within the next two hours. So, the first thing that comes to your mind on leadership, when I said somebody's a leader, what comes to your mind? Leader. Someone to follow. Someone to influence. Someone who gives directions. Someone who gives directions. No, they give directions towards a goal. Somebody who gives directions towards a goal, yes. Yes. Someone who has conscious ambition, then can positively affect good. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, everybody has mentioned your name. So, you are the only one who hasn't mentioned mm -hmm. Then you give me an adjective that description. That starts with the first name of the first. Okay. 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 Excellent. So I have two excellent people here. Good. Now, like we said, everybody has talked about leadership. But that is the problem we have. Leadership. Everybody says someone. Everybody says someone. Someone who does this. Someone who does this. Leadership is you. The biggest problem as a country it's not our definition of who the leader um, It's not the fact that we don't have leaders. It's our understanding of who the leader is. So you are the leader, not the someone. So the answers I normally expect to hear is who is the leader? Myself. Because this morning, did somebody tell you to take a shower? Thank you, that makes you a leader. Did somebody tell you to brush your teeth? Yeah, my mom went on. No, 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 I'm talking <laughs> this morning. Yeah, yeah, this morning. I tried to. You decided yourself. Yeah. Did somebody wake you up say, try this time? No, I did. So, a leader is someone who is able to take their own initiative. Now, the problem we face as Africans over the years is understanding of who the leader is. That's why the person thinks that he can bash the president when he's still throwing rubbish in the gas and drain the way you see it. That's a problem. So there was a time that it was raining so bad and I was with my sister and I, I got someone in the first one. She was throwing the rubbish into the gas and I clapped him and I didn't like Really? Then I said, listen tomorrow to the radio. This is not a president who is bashful, the advice will go second. That will go dead. So, 
we have shifted our focus to us, to others. So before you can leave others, you have to leave self. <clears throat> the second problem is that those who are supposed to meet others already don't know how to meet self. So the people you are blaming are people who cannot lead self. Because if you can lead self, you know how to restrain yourself to corruption. I speak in sense. If you can lead yourself, you'll be disciplined. Yes. Then you want to say something. Feel free. Can you just say something? Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know how to do that. You said something about talking, lead yourself against corruption. Mm -hmm. Like that's mm -hmm. So which means that you know if the 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 the, the, the followers or the mm -hmm. habits mm -hmm. you follow the leader. Of course. Give me an example. So the leader is not doing it right. What he does is what he also does. Obviously. But you are the leader. Yeah. So don't look at the president, don't look at the vice, don't look at the ministers, you. What have you done in your neighborhood? Done. Okay. For others to follow. Makes it to that makes it too hard. So what have you done for others to follow? So if you got here late, I got here at 4.30 and you got here at 5.15. So the next time I have a session and then they mention that Ebenezer is going to be here today, you know that Ebenezer will get here at 5. Because I had to do something for you. Are we together? Yeah. Good. So, the first point of leadership is the understanding of who the leader is. That's where the challenge is. That's why you can't even own organizational space. Because when you go to the job and there are problems, you are always looking at who the manager is. It's never been about, I mean, I've been an officer before. I've been a manager before. I've been a senior manager before. I've been a head of department before. I've been in the secondary management before. And I know at every point in time who we blame. Even at the secondary management position, we are blaming board. There's never been a point where we say we blame ourselves for this. We got ourselves into this. It's because our understanding of who a leader is is a bit shifted. So let's do some perspective shifting. Who is a leader? You are the leader. There is no other leader in your way. I said this at Empowerment Women led to a conference last year. I was saying something. So I went to I went to Sierra Leone for business. Then when we were coming back, I get to the airport. And it was very hot. So I asked the gentleman who went to the airport. Why are your air conditions off? He says the one who's supposed to run the air conditioning. And I was with the CEO of one of the banks. So he turned and looked at me and looked at him. <laughs> Very smart. <clears throat> then we left and got to the gate. And it was equally hot. So I called, I said, Do you have a manager? Because that is what you people understand. So call me the manager. I called the manager. I said, Do you feel hot? This is what I said. Do you realize the air condition is? Then I, I said, What do you think? He said, Oh, the one who's supposed to wear who? <laughs> I said, You, you are the problem. <laughs> so we can't take the understanding of leadership to be what we think it is. And that is a general problem. Not only. So you see, the problem you find in the country is what's actually happening in organizations. Yes, Ben. Um, I like how you are mm -hmm. uh, relating it to mm -hmm. our people because when you relate it to what we have now, mm -hmm. it's going to change our mindset. Yeah. So I wanted to say that uh, it was engineered mm -hmm. by social communicator so on. We put our minds to the fact that exactly. uh, you know, the leaders we built that. Mm -hmm. From the top, from the yes. Mm -hmm. and so, to me, I'm thinking that um, in our uh, traditional African way, 
There are certain things within our tradition that makes us um, responsible. Mm -hmm. You know how you know the, the proverbs and those things, taboos and those things, they, they, they make it seem like if you do this, this is mm -hmm. what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, so I was just taking it from we were conditioned from that point in the beginning, then we got to this media and the media. She said this is how it's supposed to be. You know, that's a different opinion. I, I believe that our educational system doesn't teach us to become leaders. They teach us to do different jobs when we go to school. They don't teach you to, to set up your own business and be a leader. They are taught to follow. They are not taught to become president. They are taught to be, you know, they are taught to follow. Yeah. And, and maybe couple with that mm -hmm. cultural privilege. Like that. The educational system. Uh, I think Elizabeth wants to say something. Mm -hmm. It depends. You see, um, twenty first century children are different. Mm -hmm. Very, very different. Um, I always say, if you don't want someone to be vocal or speak up and speak out, I'm going to send them to my school. Because my children, whatever they see, whatever they hear, they, 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 they will yes. they challenge us and they ask questions because we we encourage that. And it's important if you don't ask the question, you you won't you won't get an answer if. You, you don't know the answer, you go, you go and find out what the answer is. That's what I'm saying, that there are very few people ask you, our time was, don't speak until you spoke. Yes, so you, but you, don't. you see, there's a saying, if you know better, you do better, but you know that now. Yes. So why are you not shifting that to so yeah, the, the next system. generation? Don't, don't follow the same problems that... Um, that I, I think everybody's agreeing like on the yeah. fact that it's a perspective of what we think of leadership yeah. is all about. And that's why I started by saying, let's, let's talk about leadership. Because in your organization, wherever you're working, if I don't let you understand that you are the leader, then you will keep having problems. Because then everything is going to be done. Everything is going to be somebody. Everything. So when you got there and saw that the security man was not opposed. Instead of him asking, what were you this morning? I was looking for you. You are looking for the leader. Who will work, right? Who are you? What makes it difficult for you to tell the security man that I got here this morning, I realized you're not opposed. This is not right. What's going on? Are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. I went home. I know you can't do this. That makes you a leader. But to move. And then the first thing is to go to the lady and say, the security man. You know that today he didn't, he wasn't that close. And you haven't even had the communication. And this is what brings organizational politics. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have understanding of who it is. And all the time it's causing conflict. So when, it's, when he goes to attack the security man, this was going to happen. So who told you? Then he feels you went to complain. Actually, you had a good intention. So you have built a cycle very soon. Political stuff will go on within the organization. And this is what is going on with India. That's why we have indirect politics every day already. Mm -hmm. As I continue to Now, one of the things to do to work with less people is to first of all know who you are. Who are you? <laughs> if you don't know who you are, you cannot work with less people because then you don't know what your weaknesses are what your strengths are, what you can do better, what you cannot do at all, how you handle conflict, how you can handle conflict. If you don't know these things about yourself, then you cannot work with less people. Because you need to take people who complement you. You can't take people who are just like you. And the only way you can take people who complement you is to know who you are. Self awareness, personality. Who are you? It's very, very important. So I'll share with you some of the things. I have a little time, so I'm not going to go much. Do you have a partner or a spouse? When he or she gets home, the first thing he wants to do is take a shower, go to the room and lock up. And close the door and just lay down. I don't want to talk too much. Who has that experience? Your partner. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Your husband. He doesn't want to talk. 
He wants to just enter, take a shower. He doesn't have a problem, that's his personality. It's not what you people think is called introverts. What we have defined as introverts are people who don't want to talk. That is not introverts. Introverts are people who get their energy sucked up when there are too many people around. So they energize alone. So they have their earpiece laying down, listening to music, or they want to watch TV alone. So the day, the day you go and disturb him, he'll kill you. <laughs> because he gets irritated about that. So if you do not know him, or he hasn't told you about him, then you have a challenge. Because he wants to energize alone. And then we have the extroverts. The extroverts are those who want to energize with people. They get excited when they are interacting with people. So they want to know, hey. So the nurse comes, she's talking, she's energizing. When she's alone, her energy gets sucked up. When she has people, she gains more energy because she gets to interact. This is her personality. When you have these two groups of people in an organization, you need to know where to place them. So normally if you study, there are professions that fit into the introvert space. One, accountants. You know why? They energize, those who love accounting, they energize on their own. So they don't want distractions. So if you have that personality trait and you have set up a marketing company, they need extroverts. Else you can't work with less people. You'll be taking people of the same kind and not getting any productive work done. For that reason, you think that you need to employ more. And actually, you don't really, you don't really need to employ anybody. You are just getting it wrong because you don't know who you are. So, within your workspace, there are some people who don't talk all the time they come to work. They are fixated on their tasks. They don't want to talk. When you are busy cracking jokes in the office, yeah. such people, they are not stuck up. They are not stubborn. They are not being born. <laughs> All the things that people call them. They are who they are because that's their personality. Some people don't even like an open office space. They always want to be in their little corner. Those are the people that come to work, sit on their desk, and they can sit there to cover themselves. When you see one, they smile, small, small, but yet it's. <laughs> You as the boss could be one. And if you are one, then you should know that you cannot employ people of the same nature. Because the kind of job you're doing will not allow you to do that. So assume the owner of your company does nano solutions. Is that introvert? And this company needs to go out and market. Who's going to do the marketing? Them. Company will not be able to be productive with less people. So the first thing he needs to do is to get somebody who is highly extroversion. Somebody who can speak, energize with people, because that's the person who can sell the product. So if he gets one strong extrovert and trains the person, the person is done. So he doesn't need to go out, he can do all the backroom work. But the out there work. So let's be in your school. Mm -hmm. There are some teachers that the children don't get along with too well. <laughs> because they don't want to, to be able to work with children, you need to be an extrovert, you need to be able to, to, to energize with people. So if you can energize with these kids, who are always hyper, mm -hmm. they're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Introverts mostly don't like too much noise. Mm -hmm. So if you have children with them, if the man is an introvert and the wife, the wife is the one who's going to be doing most of the stuff mm -hmm. in terms of kids. When they make them, they say, ah, kids, mm -hmm. it's not because they don't like kids, it's personality. Who are you? Are you an introvert? Or are you an extrovert? If you don't know this, self 
awareness is key because when you have self identification, that's when you can do what people self disclosure. I'll come to that. Can you be a bit of both? Because I think I am. Yes, you can. Somebody can be high on one lower layer, somebody can have a balance. For, for, you have a balance, right? For me, I have a balance. There are times where I'm like, no, 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 no. I can't do this noise. There are times where I'm like, okay, let's do this. And environments can shape you over a period. All right. Then there are those who are thinkers, and then there are those who are feelers. Who are you? When making decisions, do you prefer to look at logic and consistency or best look at the people and circumstances? Emotional people. Oh, look at the woman. Or the one who says, this people should be working, actually, they should be on the, they should be working. They cannot, they cannot be standing all the time looking for money. Those are the thinkers, rational people. They are not wicked. You people call them wicked. So your boss, so you know, maybe they are saying that this woman. So I should understand. I can tell. Are you this way living? I know what I'm talking so it's understood. Yeah. But the truth is that she's a rational person. Think that. So when you are, when she works with somebody of her same kind, there's trouble because there will be no empathy in the company. Everything is rational. So imagine might, she's working with somebody who says, exactly, this guy should be working, he's not working. Trouble. But it should be the one who says that, oh, no, 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 no. Let's find out why he's not getting his work done properly. Then he will call and say, what's going on? He's like, okay, I'm home. And the person will ask and say, oh, why is that? And find a way. Else, she cannot work with anybody. Because she doesn't have what we call empathy. And normally it comes with that kind of personality. That's why HR people should have a lot of the feel. Even though we expect you to have the rational. Are you together? So you realize that it's, what I'm saying is you are beginning to know some of your friends who are close to you, who you've been insulting them. Jesus will come and meet you. <laughs> some of your friends you've been insulting. It's just a personality. You cannot fight them for who they are. Yeah, for me, I'm a rational person. Critical thinker. Practical thinker. When I sit down to do work, I analyze it both ways. Pick, part, everything. Cross my teeth, dot my eyes. I don't want mistakes in my work. My executive assistant is a very emotional person. So when I get into my element, and she, I say, What do you talk? I said, what is this wrong, right? You can't say anything. And then you realize that. But she needs to balance it for me. So I didn't want somebody who is like me to be my executive assistant. Because there are times that when I go high, I need somebody to stay, take the lower step. <laughs> so imagine two thinkers married. <laughs> Hallelujah, another back. <laughs> What's going to happen is that there are kids there yeah, trouble. You can't afford to make mistakes. That's dangerous. So even in choosing a partner, it gets you are careful who you are. If you don't know who you are, there's trouble. Now let me tell you something. The funny thing about this whole concept is that in the natural sense, traditional sense, they say that you propose to a woman, right? So he goes to her and he says, Oh, you have to date and get to know her. No, but you cannot know me unless I tell you who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so when people always come and say, Oh, get to know her, I say, What am I getting to know? She has to tell me who she is. So my job is to help her discover who she is so that I can do what? No. Not for me to go and, How can I? Her mother doesn't even know who she is. <laughs> she only knows that she likes family. Or she doesn't like math. But even those ones, when she goes to school, changes. So what then happens is that over a period, if you are a leader who knows self, you can disclose yourself to your staff. I'm a rational person. I'm very sorry. So when you hear me speaking very harshly to somebody, you, my show, you're a very emotional person. Can you please do the damage control for me? That is effective. 
we can do more with this. Oh, I'm a very, I'm an introvert, I don't like to talk too much. So when we get customers coming in, I prefer you, even though you are not the owner of the company, but I prefer you, who is able to interact more because you are extroverted, to go out there and talk. It doesn't make you a less of a leader. The mistake with me is that everybody needs to talk, everybody needs to talk. And that is why people misunderstood different precedents that we had. That's why people misunderstood in his other till he died. <laughs> He's an introvert. He can sit and do his work, but he can't engage. And he's not supposed to engage. But the mistake is that he never disclosed self. If he had ever had an opportunity to disclose self, everybody would have understood him. And the backlash would have been lesser. <laughs> All right. Then we have those who sense and those who have intuition. Do you prefer to focus on basic information taking, or do you prefer to interpret and add meaning? So somebody sees this, and then you say, "I said, what's this?" He said, "Ah, this is a marker." Then I was the same person. I said, "What's this?" Another person. I said, "What's this?" A blue marker, white stuff around it, black. Right things you can. So I asked Elizabeth, Elizabeth, tell me about yourself. She told me more. She said, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do this. If I tell, if I drop Apple right now. And I said, Elizabeth, what do you see? She told me, I see a round thing with just on the top, with a full stop in it. That's what she's going to do to me. She's going to tell me more. Am I right? I'm telling you about your personalities. Yeah. Whereas me, if you ask me, what is this? I'll give up. <laughs> I don't have time to waste. <laughs> so those who are intuitive, when you are with them at work, it's excellent. You know why? Because they see more than what you're seeing. So if you are somebody who always senses, you always need somebody who is intuitive to be part of you. Working with less people. Why? Because when you sit down in a meeting and you see one, he sees one with two at the back, three the next day, four attached to it, five at the bottom, six in between. That is how you're able to work with such people. You understand what I'm saying? That's why you're able to work with such people. So the rational me knows that it's what? Six. And at six o'clock, I do my personal studies. So by the time now I'm in the office, I've stopped any work. I'm just doing my personal reading. So my alarm will hit. That is the rational me. So everybody who's always a thinker, rational, he's deliberate about everything. Those who are feeling people are spontaneous. <laughs> my former organization had a lady. She cries the most. You've seen some of your work, please. Small thing. So, for me, it's about the work. So she does the first time, I'm like, oh, what's the problem? So I said, my friend, you don't come to my office to come to the right now. I don't have time for this kind of I'm very busy. Then, my assistant, who is pretty much emotional, works in it. The productivity will drop wool. Which was true. So after that, like I said, okay, hold on, I'm going to try to give a job. Let's see. So that I realized that there is a different approach to how I give it to you. So when she does something and I'm about to strike in my element, there's something will break that. This girl is different. Mm -hmm. And I'll pick her out and I say, but do you know this thing you did? These are the implications. He said, no, it's true. I said, no. <laughs> so next time, if you do that, this, this is the problem I'm going to have. When it's going to affect my salary, if you're affecting me, it'll affect you too. So let's think about it. Then I give her the same job. Then she goes and she does a focus job. So when she comes and says, no, 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 this girl, she has a baby small. Let me deal with the baby in her. I had 
brief, a very limited number of people I was working with. But when I got to know everybody's personality, it helped me. Because I knew who to scream at. Who not to scream. My assistant was somebody I could blast. And after that, he still get my job done. Then the one who was after him, I will blast. Trouble. Let's see work. So when they do the same mistake, I know who and how to handle stuff. I call this one and this one I say, my guy. Don't do this. But I don't want to say, Charlie. It's not like I want to talk to her like that, but I have to. Peace of mind is better than right of way. <laughs> you understand? So understanding yourself is key. The other thing is about, about self-awareness is leading by example. If you want to be the person who is working with less people, you have to learn to lead by example. If I get to work at 7, I used to get to work exactly at 7 when I was in the bank. When I moved, I still do the same thing. What it is is that I need to show you the way. It doesn't mean you don't know the way. I am the vision bearer. <laughs> I call them VBs. I am the vision bearer. If I don't tell you how I want my vision, how will you help me get my stuff done? So the first thing is that I want to make sure that I am punctual. One of the things I instituted in the organization I used to be was one thing that I, don't know, I said close at five. You know what? Get out of my building. That was used to be my trademark. When I get up at five, I say, oh, you get out of my building. It's five. I said, but you haven't said, what is this eight to Make sure you finish. I have finished. You have to finish. My rooms are not for NBA classes. Put my lights off, air conditions off. We have closed. And you say, ah, but, but that's not how it used to be. We have to wait. You see, yeah, sometimes I said, when there is any other way that comes after five, you should follow my desk. As far as I'm concerned, work starts. At eight. Who says if there is anything beyond five, it should not be called the time. Can I say, hey, I said, no problem. If you want to close at seven, that is your problem. But eight is a very crucial discussion. Because that eight o'clock is not your watching time. That eight o'clock is not I'm working to buy Google time. That 8 o'clock is not I am talking time. That 8 o'clock is working time. But people hear 8. It is the 8 that their car will pack. <laughs> and then 8 to 8, 5 is working. And then 8, 5 to 8, 10 to wake up. Then 8, 10 to 8, 15. So I don't go and have my breakfast. Then 8, 15, now they're going to ask, Charlie, how was it? you watch that? <laughs> it doesn't happen within my cycle because I am telling you that when it starts at 8, I get there at 7. If I want to do any other thing, I do between the 7 and the 8. Immediately in the next 8, where has started? When it's 5, I have closed. I'm going to my house because beyond work, there's life. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Do you think, mm-hmm. for some reason, it's because Ghanaian time paid by the hour, mm-hmm. that's why it turns as we make it. That's one. I think that's, that's a major factor. It is, because it's been paid by the hour. They would have been, yeah. Yes. yes. And to add to what you said, mm-hmm. before you are paid by the hour, you have to quantify what the hour entails. Mm-hmm. So we don't quantify a lot because mm-hmm. I bring back to Africa. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, sorry, our mm-hmm. traditional. Mm-hmm. To me, I see our geographical location to be like, um, for instance, with the with, with that brick, mm-hmm. there's a mango tree. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't plant the mango. I mean, mm-hmm. it was fair. It was great. It was there. Mm-hmm. 
So it comes plenty. You know, there's no, it's there, there's nothing really, yeah. you know, you don't know how many mangoes are even on the tree. So you just see plenty. Take some. Just take as much as you want. Whatever. So we, we are not inclined to quantify things. So you see, we have this attitude of, I mean, why are you rushing? Why what is this? I mean, mm-hmm. there are too many. I mean, That's why you are eternal worship. So then, <laughs> so then I, but what you're saying, I, I, I was seeing it as, when we do all that, and then, that's leadership, but then when we do all that, and the majority don't understand, we tend to be... Yeah, a leader is not supposed to be understood. You cannot be a leader and be a public. You can't be a leader. Okay. 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 Note, note to self. <laughs> Anybody who wants to be a leader and to be a populist, forget it. It will not work. Somebody asked me at one interview. They were employing me in some company. The, the, the guy said, Are you black? I said, No, I'm not black. She's why I said, Because I'm not supposed to be black. She's why. I said, Have you seen anybody who does a strategy of the company, leads the people, and black? She said, No, I said, Because I have to be sure that the strategy that I have to develop. The environmental object that needs to be had the right to it because the company is successful. I can't do it. It says, I even said, How would I put it? If I kill somebody, I have done my work. And I've done it in a very fair, nice way. If your head is big outside of there, your head can look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? But I have done it. Yeah. Do you get it? So, my, my, my office is what I used to do is. They said, don't keep beer in the bank. There is a reason. It's a law. My assistant we used to keep beer. I say it once. I don't see it again. The rest reflects during appraisal. <laughs> so I don't talk. I'll be laughing. I'll be going. So during appraisal, he comes to sit down. I say, oh, outlook, zero. Oh, boss. I said, oh, yes, beer, zero. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can we continue on? I said, this is not favor, but actually, my assistant was actually my best friend. Somebody I've worked with for years. But when we come to work, it is working. A month ago, when you came together, he was telling our uh, uh, his cousins that this is my boss, and he's my best friend. But this guy never spared me. <laughs> and his cousins were telling me, I said, How did you do that? I said, Well, I learned to draw the line between friendship and work. We love each other. On Sunday, we go out there, eat, talk, love, joke. Monday morning, I get to work at 7. He cannot do it. We all left that hangout point at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the issue is, how do you lead the people? A lot of people are inclined to wear more African wear today because the president is constantly on Fridays in African wear. A lot of people do things that the president is doing because they see him do it. Yeah. So if he's corrupt, he will do the same. A man who beats his wife at this age saw his father and mother in his early stages. A woman who has all the justifications to why she shouldn't do something saw the mother at the early stage. So does it. Or saw an elderly person who was doing it that he really used. If I come to work late, you will be late to work. If I leave work with work and drop down, you will do the same all the time. If I don't have a clean text policy, you will do the same all the time. If I, the vision bearer, is not following the vision, forget you there, you are dead. If I cannot explain the vision of the company to anybody, then you, what will you explain? Because I haven't been able to articulate it to you. What are you carrying out there? By example. You see, Chris did something when she was in Airtel, amazing stuff she did. So she enters Airtel and realized that they all come in. So one day, she enters Airtel, very happy, closes the door, and suspects her. Then we started talking about the door. She called me and said, Listen. Says, yeah, the 
that. Then after he suspended people for some two, three days, and actually deducted this from their salaries. After three days, when they got back, seven sharp. Offices are full. Look at the Everybody was seated. And she said, they come and see my office. But as much as you saw, she went to give her the words. The next thing is leading others. You see, everybody plays a role in your team. We you have two members. They play a role in the team. The only thing is that you don't know the role they play. You don't know the role. That's why you don't regard them. You see, in your team, you will find a resource investigators. You know the resource investigators in your team. They know everybody anyway. You will find that one person in your team. When you say, Charlie, do you know somebody who sells? Oh, boss, ah, this one I know somebody. <laughs> that person will never be an implementer. Everything you give to the person, the person can implement. But look for all the resources in the world. The person will get it for you. You can others. Appreciate that role, please. Everybody plays a role. There's somebody in the team. When you give them a proposal, you will never finish. But he can criticize the most. <laughs> when proposals are done. Such people, they have turned their bodies like shapers, monitor evaluators, they are monitoring people's work, evaluating people's work. But they themselves, they cannot do their work. Do not insult them that is the role they play in the team. So to be able to work with less people, know the role they play in your team. Because if you have a resource investigator in your team, there is no network that you are looking for to be able to break business that you won't get. Such a person, your driver, can be a resource investigator. He knows all the watching joints. <laughs> He knows, aside knowing the watching, he knows all the people in the neighborhood. Aside knowing the people in the neighborhood, he knows the people's history, their storyline, their grandparents who died, those who are, who are like those. He can tell you everything. Those people are deep. You know why? Because that's where your market will start from. He can easily, he's more like an opinion leader. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Then we have the team workers who don't do anything at work or sometimes, but they know everybody in the team. When they come to work, when they are not at work, dead. They are the team workers. When they come to work, they're fired. The day they won't come to work one day, the office is as quiet. If they just back here, because you don't have important people, they keep your team alive because you, the leader, you might not necessarily be a team worker. Such people might not be their best when it comes to their work, how you want it. But they are keeping your team alive. Don't throw them away. Everybody has something good deposited in them. It is how you harness it. How you are able to get that good thing to be better. So inspire, motivate, engage. Bring it out. Then everybody has something. There are those who are coordinators. They can coordinate every activity with tact. Give them how to get things done, arrange, prepare for certain meeting. You don't need to talk much. They're excited about it. This is the only thing they <laughs> Charlie, you've demotivated a person. But if you learn how to harness that role in 
the person, you be amazed. It can even create another source of business for you. I had a lady in my team. She won't do anything when it comes to the work. But when I say, can you arrange the place for me to have a training? And then make sure I have the interest that she did an excellent work. And then when my CEO comes and he stands there to talk, he says, oh, organize this place and set up the place. I said, my team. <laughs> <laughs> but indirectly, the certain one is that when I give to her, bomb. <laughs> but when she does the bomb, I find ways and means to say, I this thing. <laughs> but when she does the good thing, I say, hey, you are the girl. <laughs> It's because I have found something that I can. And at the point in time when I decided to do commercial training, at that time, she was my go to person at the time. When anything has to be, I said, Charlie, get this thing organized. And she walked and I do table for it. I read who is going to do this tax people. That's my coordinator. So you cannot bring people in your team. But because of the rules that they have that you are harnessing, it makes your work exciting. You know who to go to. Charlie? Don't you know anybody who can give us some um, yam and chips and chicken today to chew? Oh, forget this one. I know it was somebody already. Ah, okay. I have a number. You don't know this person. They mentioned it. You say, you don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the specialists. Ask them what they know is what they know. <laughs> don't be angry with them. They come to work. They're technology people. They what they know. It's what they know. If you talk any HR, they'll get angry. <laughs> if you talk any other, they'll get angry. What they know is how to do their coding. They're encryption and decryption. They don't like noise. When they sit behind the computer, they're doing things. They say, Charlie, have you heard the accountant? I said, accountant, they're hearing. They're fighting. They're passing. They're passing. They're passing. Such people, don't despise them. They come handy as well because they are the specialists. Then we have the complete finishes in two months. Oh, you need to Oh, you need to but when it's about to go, finish you see something. Ah, are you going? What did you do? This is, this is, this is, ah, don't you know you can change the English and make it this way? Mm -hmm. You know you need them to always have a complete job. Those are the people that when you are busy doing a project together, you'll be running around. And say, hey, what do you play? Come on, what do you play? Hey, come on, baby, yeah. But they're the same people. When they're about to be done, they'll come and say, hey, let's shave that shit. That is what you have sense. So don't be angry. Say, why you be? Then you start helping, and the computer finishes. They are annoying like anything. <laughs> when you are able to help these people, they are the shapers. They are shapers who will be guiding you along the way. Don't get angry. Hey, can you draw perfect woman? Every day you are telling us what we should do. Don't be angry. It is who they are. If you want to be able to work with less people, Know the role they play in the team. When you know, done. Me, there's a thing that I will never touch. Typing emails. Assistant, you can type English, construct it, send it, do stuff. Thank you, that one. Me, alright, when I can, I say, my YouTube, what's it, what's it, what kind of, what kind of English is it? My friend changed this English, you don't understand. She understands too that that is me. I'll come and criticize it. Perfect. However, she knows that I'm a coordinator, so when I sit down to arrange the plan stuff, I'll plan it. You understand what I'm saying? She knows that I'm a resource investigator, so when she says, Charlie, Ben, do you know somebody in the bank? In this line, I say, oh, don't worry, I know this person, I'll pick up the phone. Charlie, somebody's coming to see you, get it done. And I don't, I don't want to know this, my people come, Charlie, you know anybody in government? Oh, who do you want? Minister. Wait, this is Mr. Pico, I call somebody. Charlie, give me the minister, and I need the then you know them. So everybody has something. Inaj has their own things. When she picks out right now, she's a resource investigator. She can get to one million people. That's why she's going on YouTube. She's an influencer. You know what I'm saying? When a girl decides to organize something, act. He knows what he wants. He knows how to get what he wants. He knows how to plan the stuff. Then. That is... So you might think that it was. Because you're already in check, but you're not going to catch it. You're already in check, 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 check. It doesn't do anything. That's what you both have been doing. Now. This boy, he doesn't do anything at work. Ah, look at him. He comes to work, you talk, 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 talk. He doesn't do anything. He's done something. Do you know what he does? When he comes to work, 
he creates the vibe mm. for teamwork. That's his job. He's being paid for teamwork. You get it? What are you being paid for? That's the question she asks herself. Hey, this guy, when he comes, you talk to him, but he's being paid for his specialist role. When he comes, he doesn't talk. Hey, this guy, don't talk to him at all. Everything you do, he has something to say. Everything you do, he's you. Share this t-shirt to the room. This one, this computer is working. It's kind of changing. Move this one here. Use your shape. Say. 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 Say what's it? Go for out here and move it. Say what's it? So, don't worry. But you see, in leading others, you need to learn how to manage quantity. So two things are that I've talked about leading self, two things, so that you can work with less people. I said knowing self, leading by example, and the leading others, two things. I've talked about what? Roles that people play in teams. And the second thing is that how to manage conflict. Because only three people can do the job. But the three people can fight. Hey. All my team members, both within and outside Ghana, the person I fight the most is my assistant. Now, we fight, and she should cry. Say, get out of my car. Then she will look at me. So I'll get down. I said, you'll get down today. This is when I don't like it. Then she will laugh. So then she will cry. But one thing I have learned is that we know how to manage conflict. And you see, the one you work closely with is the one you always have issues with. Because she manages my everything. She would tell me, I came to Ghana for a week to do some work. Went back to UK. She had to do my travels because I was going to have six countries. I was busy, I have sessions to do. I said, Charlie, where's my ticket? I go to UK. I said, Charlie, where's my ticket? Things done. She said, I haven't finished. I said, hey, that guy really killed it. I said, hey, do you know I have to catch a flight? But there was something else she did. So everybody has some concern. You gotta see it. I love the short person. That's his good side. You'll see it. I see it. I like the swag. I like the sunglasses he's been wearing. I like the. You haven't seen. You need to see it. Sure. You're not in Ghana. You don't know. Eventually. <laughs> All right. So people have different conflict resolution styles. Don't get angry at them. Use it. And let them be productive. What we are talking about is how to get people to be productive. You see, I haven't come to the business side because the business side is what we all focus on. But the things that drive the business we always neglect. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. if you don't know yourself, mm -hmm. your staff don't know themselves, you are in trouble. If you don't lead by example, you are in trouble. It's not about the technology that's not working. If you don't know how to harness the potential of the people within the team, the roles they play, they are in trouble. At the same time, if you don't know how to ensure that they, they manage their conflict or their job, because they always come to you. Let me tell something I used to do. Somebody will come. I have boss. I say, yeah, Charlie, what's up? Don't call me boss. I tell you, my name is Eben. Sit down. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I say, yeah. Wait, I'm coming. I think I've been We go, but now you're a reporter. What was that in our friend? I said, What are you catching? I said, I'm a friend. He said, Yeah, but you see, it was a good approach, but later I had his own issues, so I had to stop. I had to find a way. But he likes to do that, and he stopped unnecessary breakfast. He said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So I required everybody to stop. Then they came to say, hey, you want me to tell you stuff? I said, my man is not wholesale. <laughs> I can't be keeping people's issues in there. When you say it, I have to tell the other person so that I can go home and sleep. Mm -hmm. But later I realized I need to learn how to manage conflict because everybody manages conflict differently. Mm -hmm. You get it? There are those who compete. There are people you hate, but they are, they are the most assertive people. Mm -hmm. Those who compete. So when you tell them that, ah, 
But in a way, you talk to me and you say, but I didn't talk to you that way. What I was trying to say is that it doesn't mean that a person is a bad person. We call them opinionated. We yeah. call them people who don't have patience. We call them all sorts of names. What it means is that they are just they just have a competitive, complete management style. There are people like that. Hmm. When you say if I will say 50. Hmm. But the, the way you talk to the man. Ah, are you what are you talking about? The man, he doesn't deserve to be talk, spoken to nicely. Ah, but you. <laughs> that's as a good point. As such people, they are very assertive. You need them in an organization. Do you know why? Because when nobody is able to stand up to the board chairman, he, champ, champ, champ. He will stand up to the board chairman and say, board chairman, please, you know what I say, we won't do it. <laughs> and you will not be afraid to say it. it. You will need them. They might have their bad side, learn to manage it. But trust me, they're the people who are most assertive in the organization. When everybody goes for this, nobody is talking. Mm. Everybody fear. <laughs> then John will say, my guy, I have a question. <laughs> 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 okay? Yeah. John. <laughs> yes, I'm right. I'm yeah. telling you. No, I'm telling you because it might not be the best because you might think the person is opinionated, yes. You might find ways that need to help the person to manage it. But these people also have very good sides. Very high. Then we have those who avoid. Oh. Yeah, they are dude. Let no score. No score. No. They avoid it because. They don't want to be confronted. Those people are the not assertive people in the organization. When they are dying, nobody will see till they are dead. Because they don't want to have issue with. So he's not aggressive, but he says he's aggressive. You see, right? Me, when I look at my thing, he wasn't aggressive. I am not aggressive. He says he's aggressive. <laughs> Do you get it? Those people, it's dangerous. You need to learn how to manage. When you realize that somebody is like that, always have time with the person to know what their problems are because it can affect productivity. Such people always get them closer to you. So if you have a problem at work, is there something I can do differently to help you? That one they will share. But when somebody steps on their toe, they will never say it. They are always running away from the issue. So if they will step up and it will create a problem, then they will stay back. In a meeting, talk, laugh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, what can you make him say the two months? Because it's going on my job. They want salary increase. Instead of telling, going to their boss and saying, let's see, so they hope I can't beat you. I might speak some of these slides now. That's what I know. It doesn't mean they are not good people. What it means is that their company resolution style is different. So you need to learn how to manage them differently. To be able to be productive, you need to learn how to manage these people. When they come, say, Charlie, you, they don't mean come to so you go to them most of the time. I say, Charlie, what's up? How's work? What's going on? <clears throat> what's the plan? Clarity, okay. There's something that we need to discuss. Is that okay? Can you tell me that? So I can do this. And you know, the easiest way for you to realize that such people are having a problem is because you see that's affecting them. I said that the leader is you, so don't wait for boss to ask. Be able to call my strength and my strength. Charlie, what's up? Don't be happy. Is there something that any of us did that we should try and work on? So don't go and say, hey, we are best happy. You don't even know to do that. They are wasting a situation for people in the organization. Hey, so if you are angry, what is it? Why? Hey, if you have a problem, I will keep it at home. <laughs> I'm actually thinking somebody's going on. I don't know what's going on. And you see, the difficult thing about it is that the person, like, where is that time? It's just wet. You go crossing the rest, you cross the rest. <laughs> and you, you can't imagine. You see, I'm working with a lot of people. When I work with people, sometimes I look at things, 
and I smile. Wait, the racing. Is it? The racing, wait. I don't remember. Ah! Ah, you have to ask the intro. Such people, they are not really cooperative. They are not assertive. You need to draw them out. Learn to draw such people out. To be able to work with less people. Else you keep employing a lot of people, thinking that it is the work that is giving them pressure. Sometimes it's not the workload. Most of the time, it is how they manage conflict that you have not learned. These things I'm sharing with you have deeper, deeper ways to identify. I have deeper tools that are used to identify them. But for the sake of time, do you get it? Then we have those who are accommodating. Oh, when do you say it, you heard them, even when they're not, oh, sorry. <laughs> they, sorry, it's easy. Over. They say sorry uh, very soon. Like, and I say, they say very soon. Guys, we have to do a share, right? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, very sorry. Yeah. Such people, they say sorry easily. And they're very accommodating. Say, boss, but, oh, sorry. <laughs> you, even if you are going to praise them, they'll say sorry for you praise them. <laughs> <laughs> because they're accommodating. Like, when you talk to them, oh, say, oh, sir, oh. Oh, you know, guys saying no, no, that's not what they actually meant. Yeah, people like me. I always fight with my friends, and I'm like, I didn't say apologize. I'm just telling you, you did this. She says, Oh, but I have to. I said, Apologize for what? <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> because the truth is that any man who builds strong intellectual capacity is not always interested in sorry. It's not always interesting. I'm not always interested in sorry. I also need that woman who tells me that, oh, baby, I'm not talking about just trying to. Then we can. Yes, I am. Sorry. Sorry, you can, if you are a thinker, you can't sleep. Because that's why you know that it's not genuine. <laughs> Sleep quietly. So at night, you say anything else. Why you say sorry? <laughs> it will haunt you. But such people are in the organization. They are people who are very cooperative and it has dangers too. Because sometimes they are being productive, but they are dying within. They just don't want to be those people who you will always look at them wrongly. You get it. So they have to be very cooperative. You get it. Aha. Then there are those who are collaborating. Oh, eh. You will say sorry, but continue with the reason. Very collaborating. Oh, I'm sorry, but actually, this is what I was trying to do. Those people are in love. I don't like people who say what you're trying to do is I have a problem with that. I say, apologize first. Because I don't see the way you see things. So you need to apologize to me for trying to make me see the way you see things. You understand? So sometimes, Benny, yeah. somebody says, eh, but you should have known. You, should have known. you knew. Doesn't mean I should mm. know. It's not by force to know the same thing at the same time. Mm. Mm. It's a problem. I don't expect you to know all the things I know at the same time. Mm. Somebody meets me and says, are you an organization? I've been doing this thing for the past 12 years. Have you done it for the past 12 years? Mm. So why would I say, but you should know that you don't need to know. But I'm sorry that this thing happened, really. But I think this is what I was trying to do. These are the people who are very collaborative. But in all these four, the best thing is to learn to compromise. That is what I mean by peace of mind. It's better than right of way. Are you with me? Yes. Peace of mind. Compromise. The guy is crossing in traffic. You are not happy. But if you go and then you hit him, it's going to turn to an argument. Why are you going to mm -hmm. go? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Bye. Mm -hmm. Then he's driving to a truck. The guy is in his but if you left him, it might be paying for what he did by pet you, but just for a very short time. Then you'll be going quietly. That's what's called peace of mind. Peace of mind is not always what you really wanted. That action that brings peace of mind. It's not always that thing you really loved. 
but sometimes you just need to learn to ignore. Even if you don't want to ignore, but you want to have a conversation about it, have a nice life, tell you something, some church driver calls me some time ago. I didn't see anything, I smiled, but I said, oh, shit, shit. Oh, wow. The guy didn't die. The shit killed him more than fighting. Oh, shit, shit, shit. She said, ah, Christ, it's a shit. The guy drove, followed me. She rushed me. I said, ah, that's a shit. So that is what it means by it. It doesn't mean that don't say that I didn't hurt you. They hurt you feel let people know that you're not happy about it. Mm-hmm. By saying that let people know that I don't hold it against you. Because that's the only way you can work in organization that you're productive. I'm not happy. Oh Charlie, I'm not happy about this. You see, don't be apologetic about what you know is right and is only in your heart. But sometimes, let's just say, yeah, maybe I picked up on you. I'm sorry about it. Oh, you hurt me. I don't like the way you are. But you handle it carefully. The one who is avoiding. If you do something, you don't go to and say, Ah, are you this thing you did? I'm not happy with you, but I forget. No, that's not the way. <laughs> Look for the opportunity. Say, Hey, Charlie Jack. What's up? I was worried. I tell you, Charlie, what you did to me there. The hey. my sister, when she knows, I said, Have a seat. Mm-hmm. And the bitch expression changes. <laughs> so now I don't say, Have a seat anymore. <laughs> I just be driving my car and said, "My child, you just think you did. What do you think about it?" We have an interaction. Say, so I realize that she's more interested in somebody. What the implications of her actions are? So I said, "So, if, assuming if you did this and this thing happened, what do you have thought?" So, mm, it's true. I said, "Okay, now that you have your answer, put it next to me." <laughs> <laughs> Instead of not to say, "But didn't you see? Can't you see? Don't you realize?" But then the person is crying. The approach is different. I was listening to Senor Jose today. I'm sure a lot of you have listened to him. Yeah. And I said, he spoke some good stuff, but in the wrong way. Mm. <laughs> yeah. was that? About this whole University of Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. He said a very good stuff. But when the emotions get beyond. I mean, it's my own, but I know I'm saying it to say, my guy. Listen, dear. But. The truth of the matter is that he spoke substance. Yes. But you see, Ghanaians will not always listen to the substance first. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Look at the tone. Right. Look at the tone of the substance. You get it. So sometimes that's the same thing that happens with people. Your husband that you've been fighting, all these things I'm telling you, happens in marriage. <laughs> you've been fighting your husband. Leave him alone. That is how you handle things. If you handle it differently, you handle it differently with you. Mm-hmm. Then the next thing is that leaving the business. That's why five minutes I'm done and I'm closed. Am I almost done? Yeah. My time is almost done. Ten more. So to be able to lead a business, we talk about a couple of things. One is the culture. Build a culture. Even if it's two people, build a culture. Culture is not difficult to build. It's just that people don't understand what culture is. So when we were in school, what did you say of culture is? Culture, culture. Oh, oh, I like those explanations. Because <laughs> well, that's what makes it simple for me. Uh-huh. A way of life. Yes. A way of life. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. What people do. Ah, nice. <laughs> Alright, so culture is how people do things in a particular setting and community. Simple. You see, to get to work with less people and be more productive, you cannot live without a culture. So I'm finished with leading self, leading as I'm really leading business. You cannot work without a culture. How do you build a culture? How can it make people do the same thing the same way all the time and get good results all the time? One, yes, tell me something. Do it yourself all the time, I don't think that far. <laughs> yes. How will people be able to do things the same way as all the time, be consistent in their service and be very productive? Without absolution. Me, in communication, I'll tell you something. This is the sender, this is the receiver. This 
The medium. It's the medium. This is feedback. Anytime the sender sends, there is no feedback, there is no communication. Communication hasn't taken place. Information has been sent. That's what it means. Anytime somebody sends you an information, and you did not respond. Communication didn't take place. So information was sent. There is a difference. Info sent is not equal to communication. And I'm saying this because in organization, people put together policies and procedures and then they send it and people don't give feedback. Communication hasn't taken place. Until you're able to say, boss, this procedure you have given to us, I have a problem with it. If we decide to do it this way, we are likely not to be able to achieve our target. Can we adjust our procedure a bit? Because that's what I have checked. Not to go and sit there. You see, I'm giving a solution. Mm -hmm. Then I come to what a typical Ghanaian would do. Which I want the spirit of God to change from us. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. <laughs> Quickly. You get it? So this is what a typical person is supposed to do. Say, Charlie, I challenge this thing that you're this week back. She says to me, say, boss, this thing is a problem. <laughs> problem that you are giving to me, it won't work. It won't work. It won't work, oh. I know why it won't work. You tell me all the things it won't work without solution. Mm -hmm. If feedback is not given from the receiver to the sender, I'll give you a typical example. Assuming you send a message, a WhatsApp message, like you said, it takes papa. No blue. The person has responded. The person has responded. Your boyfriend is not responding. <laughs> the thing is, seen it. I love you, he has not responded. Two days, I love you, he has not responded. You know, you are now on That's it, too. You know, you are now on country, you are now on country. Trouble. Honestly, he hasn't given you feedback. This communication hasn't taken place. So go after the phone, pick up. After the WhatsApp, man, pick up the phone. I sent you a love yesterday. You have not responded. I told you your phone has been stolen. No. So no, 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 no. I've been busy. Then you realize that you assume because in the absence of communication, there's what we call assumptions. <laughs> I'm speaking of prophecy. <laughs> In the absence of communication, there's always assumptions. So I'll come to a typical work setting. So aggressive sends an email to optimistic. Then optimistic has not responded. Then they go for a meeting. Then aggressive starts saying, but I've sent my email, he didn't respond. I sent them that guy if he sent me, he doesn't respond. Because like, that guy, I don't I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. What's good here at any That's how that's how it starts though. Then you will lambast him at a meeting. Probably that day he's also late, he didn't come in. Then he enters the meeting, everybody's looking at him. You got him. That's what they will start saying. Or respond to emails. Then I was next this down, and I'm sitting in the chair as a boss. And so I was saying, but I basically just complained that you didn't respond to me. He said, Boss, me? I haven't received any email. Ah. Then, after all the nights we check, and instead of putting dot com, he puts dot com. <laughs> and then actually it bounced back, it's going to stop. <laughs> then we check, he said, Oh, buddy. Then I go and say, Well, I agree. Why didn't you go to follow up that? That you actually sent. Mm. So, if your boss doesn't learn how to manage the conflict between you two, trouble has happened in the it will never happen the same again. If maybe he leaves, he will step out, cry, and then maybe he will say, Hey, I mean, how do you move? Yeah, my girl. When you are that day in office, that's how it starts. Don't say, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, I'm not going so immediately you step out, your mood has changed. So when the mission is said, oh, Charlie guy, 
Then that's how it starts. Oh. Then the next day, he leaves you in the car back and then snatch. Then gradually it's building. Then Osei's friend is Ben. And Benny's friend is John. Then they go for lunch together. Then he says, Saga, we should. That's how it starts. Then our Benny's friend is Maestro. And Maestro will say, Yeah, yeah, she knows. I'm not saying that's all not the game mistakes. If we ask, that's when you have to ask, we know you have to then it becomes three against two. <laughs> so by this is what we are building division. Gather this what that's what happens. Now. Then maybe I the boss, Charlie, my baby girl is my school. So when she comes and she talks, nah, 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 nah. so she comes to boss. I say that thing, that's how you so this one they just wait for it. And I also keep it in my head. Then it becomes my, my group. So group one, group two. Nothing will work with the organization. If you want to be able to work, unless you be effective, produce, make the best out of the situation that you are in, <coughs> you will have to learn to lead yourself. Know who you are, communicate it freely. It is not a shame to have a weakness, but get the right compliment. Two, Lead by example. People will only lead by what you think they're doing. They will not live alone, especially when they are their leader. They will always follow what you are doing and they will refer you. And the most painful aspect of it when they refer you. Because the day that you don't expect them to be, but let's go for a. Oh, I didn't ask for a number I'll say. Oh, boss, I said, I'm telling you. Me, I used to love cook, but. And then my sister used to love ice cream. I'll tell you something. If she wants me to take a coach, she'll tell you anything. Hey, I'm not crying out of my own cook. So this is my own ice cream, yes, she is. That is it. That's how it works. So I was, I was like, ah, this girl, what is she trying to do to me? So immediately she wants to take ice cream, she, when she's coming to where she buy cocoa, because I wanted not to take ice cream. So immediately she's coming to where hey, I saw cocoa, it's nice. You like it, it's very chill. The way you have, you have tired. Then, unknowingly, I'll take it. When I finish, I'll be there. You cry, but I speak for myself. <laughs> <laughs> that is the shit by example. They are getting you to do the wrong thing. Be wise. Lead others carefully. Everything is important. They have something that you have just not realized. That's why you treat them the way you treat them. Everybody has something. They, they roll the play in the team. They might not be giving you how you want it, but they give you something bigger than what you want. Look at it carefully. Unless they are not giving you. Find the disease to start them. The other thing is that aside from giving others, don't manage conflict. Organization, the people, everybody has that tendency to get into conflict. There is no perfect way. And if you want to work with a few people, then you have to manage the conflict. Because if you can't manage the conflict with a few people, forget the large team. Hmm. It will not work. That two will go down to you. It will be 5,000. The third thing, leave the business right. Go back, sit down. What culture have you built? Be sure you have done the right culture. And above all, the communication is key. Mm -hmm. wow. Things you raised last week about if somebody comes from one organization yeah. into another, yeah. you're supposed to be a yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So please, big round of applause for our. <laughs> now look, you missed last week. I mean, I know your schedule, but then yeah. you actually missed it. <laughs> it was good. And today is better, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I won't take too much time. I think that it's past seven. So please, we can quickly fill the feedback. The feedback helps us in drawing up our timetable for subsequent months. Um, whilst we are doing that, uh, we don't, as in the, the slides, that's intellectual property. So that one, you have to make a, 
an official request. Okay. And I'm sure we'll come with Official that. request being made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe what I'll do is share an email. <laughs> yes, I'll share his email so that yes, you yes. would want to contact him. Yes. And whilst we fill the feedback form, if you have any questions, I'm sure we will spare some few. Yes. yes. Um, so I wanted to ask, uh, when you're talking about compromising, mm -hmm. how often should you do that? Because you know some people take advantage of these things. Compromise, I wish I had a dictionary to tell you what compromise is. Compromise doesn't necessarily mean accept what is wrong. Mm -hmm. It means that tell the person what is right and let the situation lie because of what's in their head. The mistake we normally do is that when we say we compromise on something, it means that, oh, oh, it's hard not to. Mm -hmm. so no. Try and work on what is wrong. But don't make it your center of focus to be able to move ahead. So that when you're moving ahead, you can actually do it a better way. That's how to compromise. You're married. Yes. Your husband is not perfect. But you can't always dwell on his mistakes. You need to look at what you can do ahead. As I go. Thank you. Okay, any more? Okay. You have one? Yes. So, um, the various roles that people play, is there an instance where you can get one person doing two or three of So, when I, when I administer a tool, when I get one time, I would try and administer a tool so everybody gets to me. You can have about three. But within the three, you can have your highest point, and you can have second highest and your third highest. So you can have four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please yeah. those of you coming from um, companies like companies have sponsored you to be here. Um, I know the workshops are getting more and more tiring, but please stay. I help your company school. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say these things to them. Start your business. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you probably think they start, you know, Come coming up to me. <laughs> That's just on the side. Okay, any more? All right, we're good. We're good? Is there anyone, uh, this is the first time you're coming for a sign workshop? I think you know. <laughs> okay, you as well. Okay. Um, Okay, well, you're filling the feedback form, so I'll ask you. Tell workshops, we, it comes up every Wednesday. All right, the whole idea is there's so much out there we don't know. And even when, I mean, because of internet, you can actually find out. But how many of you are, have, have found yourself at a position or a time where you had internet, but you didn't know what to search for? Or where to start, and you get so much information, exactly. So these workshops, um, have three objectives to ensure that you have access to relevant information and to get you connected to relevant contacts. Because uh, the facilitators that we choose, even though some of them are pretty much connected to me, I make sure that they are top notch. And they do it almost free. Actually, it's free. <laughs> so we thank them so much. Uh, so please take advantage. And the third one is for you to also practice what you are learning because we try to make it as practical as possible and applicable as possible all right so let me also apologize for the size of the room i know it's small but okay i know it's small but as as we go we'll gradually move to the big conference room upstairs all right no it's not so it's not. oh all right all right, so a teleworks is sponsored by Inabend Mashke. Please, this one, it's good. All right, it's you know Mashke, right? It's nice. It's really nice. All right, last week we asked for pass. Thank you.